Today I'm going to show you down inside all the hungry mouths of my Haley Amphora. This is a South American pitcher plant that lives in the tops of the Tipui Mountains. And the leaves, as you can see, can catch all sorts of prey. This is a yellow jacket. And if we zoom over here a little bit, we should be able to see down there in this picture down in the bottom there's a beetle and some other little tiny organisms floating around on top of the water so these leaves just basically turn into small funnels curl themselves into a funnel trapping the rainwater and they're very deep they go deep down into the the plant right down to the soil level. So those traps are very very deep. There's always something falling down into these things. Steady sort of rain of small organisms. Constantly feeding. This plant started out with one trap around six years ago. A little small two inch trap now it has hundreds. You can see how they catch the rain down into their funnel. Which goes way deep, forming very deep pits that catch a lot of small insects. Here's a new one. Peeking up to form a new funnel to catch more water right here. And as you can see, if something don't fall into one trap, there are countless others all around it. Very difficult terrain to negotiate. If you can see the slit right down there, that's the overflow slit. It has hairs on both sides to stop anything from wa washing out like those little small flies or pieces of flies. So the funnel won't overflow. I'll get a pointer to show you what I'm talking about. So instead of overflowing through here, the little slit right down in here is where the water will leave. So the flies and nutrients won't get washed out. I just poured a fly here. Anyway, these uh, little tiny hoods are where the nectarines produce their nectar. And notice the water sticks to the sides in some areas but not in others. Because those areas are also nectarines which produce nectar. And the water will stick to those because of sugar in the little glands in around those areas. See if I can poke this one. But some some areas there are no nectarines and it's it really slick sides. So in a nutshell that's the Helling M4. I'll show you this little thing feed in another video again. You've seen it eat crickets when it was a little wee one. and it will dissolve all the insects in that those pools of liquid down there there's bacteria and potentially enzymes because it does seem to draw the proteins out of the animals and then the plant would just absorb it the kind of brittle plants you have to be careful when you're dealing with them you can easily break a leaf but they're very cold hardy, they can tolerate almost freezing and they can tolerate a fair bit of bright sun too tough little things time to have this one transplanted actually it's well out overgrown its pot this is down here in my basement at the moment because it's a miserable cold day outside and it's and I had to bring it in